Hello YouTube, it's JoeCat12345 here with my first actual video on my aquarium. I have a couple questions about my aquarium and there's a couple things I just can't decide myself. I have a 55 gallon aquarium with 4 fish, well actually no, 8 fish and I have a peacock eel right there and a black ghost knife fish right there and my main question is filtration. I have taught myself a lot of things about it. I have an Aquion 400 gallon per hour filter that came with the aquarium. A noisy magnum filter down there, 350, and a hot magnum 250 right behind my tank right here. I was thinking of ditching all the magnum filters and moving on to something like a like maybe a FX5 by Fluval or something like Arena XP4 something along that range big powerful quality um, I've just maybe you could help me out someone could with that I also have two API Hydro or whatever they're called sponges the company went out of business but they work fine I might get rid of those if I get a good filter and yeah, I was just wondering what a good filter would be for my aquarium because I don't like both of my magnums. I want better filtration, something we could move to a bigger tank in the future. So if someone could answer that, that would be great. My second question is, I have this strange moss-like material, if I can get the camera to focus, and I don't know if it's kind of hard to see but it's that stuff floating around in the rock that's grown there you can kinda of see it now I'm wondering is that good or bad does it matter or not that's my question because I'm, it's starting to grow everywhere even on the glass in some spaces and I don't know if that's good or bad on these filters it's starting to grow you really can't see it there that literally everywhere and I'm wondering if it just comes from this big thing of moss here or if it's just a disease or something which I hope not um, I see a lot of good bacteria growing in places so I'm happy about that so yeah if you could answer that question that would be great um, yeah I, th I have a light it's a zoo med light from Petco with two T5HO bulbs in it I'm not using the or tinic light is to save electricity. So yeah, I'm ignore it, the, my voice or anything, just not the best microphone. And this is what else. I've started this website. It's kind. It looks kind of stupid. It's called AquariumHelpClub.webs.com. Free website. Um, I don't know. I've I've put pictures of my tank on here. Yeah, I was just hoping maybe if I could get people to join, I could make this into something bigger. There's no blog or anything. I put, I'm going to make it better. I'm still working on it and trying to improve it. And using what I have, what webs.com lets me use, since it's just a free website. I plan to be making more videos soon. Ignore anything that annoys you. It's my first video. Um, pretty good for my first video. There's my algae heater. And that's all I can think of right now. Um, yeah, oh yeah, and my other question is about the magnum. I put crushed shell in the little container thing in there, and that's because some of it got into the impeller and it ground up the shaft a little bit. I'm wondering, is it easy to get a new shaft for my magnum filter right there to make it quiet again? just so I could sell it or something. I, I kind of like the Magnums, but I just want something like a powerful FX5 especially. My favorite canister filter right now that I want to get when I get the money is maybe an FX5. It looks the best to me. The Fluval 406 series also looks pretty good to me. I like the design of it. It just doesn't have the power the FX5 does. I also like the... Um, the, the XP4 by Rena. It just looks like a nice big filter. I don't have the money to afford an Eheim filter, like a one that's good enough for me to like. 
But could, at least could you guys tell me, help me out, tell me if Eheim really, if you need to buy an Eheim, if it's like worth that much more money. I've been doing a lot of research myself and I've really come to like the the FX5 just because of it does have all that space for biological and it has all that sponge and it may not have quite as much biomedia space as the Eheim filter professional but yeah could you just tell me if I'm right or not I know that might be a little overkill for a 55 gallon tank but this is overkill I have if you listen to what the manufacturers say like a thousand gallon per hour on this tank now and it's everything's working fine and I know after you put all the media into the FX5 it's gonna become like five six hundred gallon per hour something like that so I know it's not as much gallon per hour as, I, as it seems but so if you could just help me out on that that would be nice and just well, my last question is what is a spray bar once I get a new filter how important would a spray bar be to this tank with like plants and everything. Okay, thank you. Once again, just don't comment on my video being bad because I move the camera too much or talk strangely because of the microphone or something. Thank you. Uh, watch my videos. I'll be making more and ignore my other ones. Thank you.